Nothing straight. Talk wrestling. Get the facts. Get the tables. Get the hey guys, what's going on? It's Toaster Boy George Makai. Just a few days out from Slam Anniversary, and I have a very special guest returning to Straight Talk Wrestling. The French Canadian Frankenstein himself, P C O. How are you, sir? I am great. What about you? I can't complain. I'm sitting down with arguably a Canadian wrestling legend uh, and a, a pro wrestling legend in my own right. 56 years old, still going strong. What makes PCO so different that at this age, he could still go and tear the house down and put your body on the line like you do all the time? You, you well, really I'm, are I'm, a Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I'm, I'm also like, I'm super passionate about it. Like, yeah, uh, like sometimes like I don't, I, maybe I, I I'm not so passionate about it, but then, then when I really look at it and all the sacrifices I made in this business and everything I that I let behind me that I I really let go just for this business and and especially like you know like uh, having a show in Montreal and the way the way I took this to my heart very seriously like. I, I slept maybe two hours, like two, three hours per night. That's it. That's all I was doing is media tour, going across, meeting people, going to wrestling shows, meeting fans, signing out pictures for free, just to just to connect with the fans, just so they get to know me. And then uh, I wasn't even wrestling on those shows. It was just promotional tour and inviting people to the Verdun Auditorium for anniversary, and and I hit some walls sometimes like it was hard I was grinding and grinding and that's when I realized how passionate I was about it because a lot of people didn't believe that it was possible to pack 4,000 people and and just a couple of months because we had the date so late, you know, so we, it's not like we had a year to promote this. It was like eight months of promotion compacted in two months. And it's going to be like crazy. We're going to turn people away at the door. It's going to be jam packed. And I'm sure it's going to be one of the highest rated like, as far as rating goes. I wouldn't be surprised if it beats a lot of, of tickets. It's the quick, quickest sellout, fastest sellout, biggest house, and biggest also uh, uh, gate in 10 years. So it's like four, four, four records in, in 10 years, if not more. We got to look at the viewership and things like that after the aftermath so but uh, that's 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 how i i i know i was passionate and sometimes you don't realize how passionate you are until you do something that shows that you are passionate that proves to yourself that you are so passionate about something i love that i love that. that's a great answer and speaking of passion right now you and steph delander there's a lot of passion there's a lot of yeah everything yeah. going on and i have to ask wow. This could lead potentially from what I'm thinking. And even Steph Delander herself agrees because she had an article on fight earlier today drop. You guys could culminate in a wedding. This could be a wrestling wedding, which we have not had one of those in some time. Is that exciting? What does, what does the wedding to the French Canadian Frankenstein look like in your eyes? Are we going to have a lot of electrical bulbs? Are we going to have a lot of switches? Like what's going to happen? Well, I, I think, no, I, I don't want to, uh, say too much about it i want to get the people to be excited about it because you know everybody was like very very entertained by our first date and and i gotta say i mean i fell for her on the beach you know that was you know of course i kind of saved her life and that kind of speeds up things you know like that that, that helps a lot like uh but you know, we we connected with the electricity between us, and then I guess the results are pretty amazing so far. And uh, we'll see how far we can go uh, together. Uh, but so far, I think we're selling a lot of shirts, and uh, <laughs> and uh, we're making a lot of people happy. Absolutely. I don't know. I mean, it's just it's just a. Uh, we were having some talk, you know, with uh, some of TNA creative and someone said, 
in a couple of months it's going to be the oddest story in pro wrestling and uh, i think every time every time there's some something comes out whether it's her talking to me at the beach or whatever you know whatever it is like me giving her a, a dark black rose and things like that or a love letter yeah i mean everybody's been thrilled with it and uh it's hard to know where what's next where to go in with it what's going to happen and it just it just trickles your mind you know it's just like okay <laughs> what's trying to guess you know <laughs> i love that i think Absolutely. that's that's amazing Absolutely. Listen, I'm okay with you not giving too much away because I want to just continue to be entertained, which is what's happening. But I got to ask you this. Um, AJ, Francis, Digital Media Championship, yeah. International Heavyweight Championship, on the line, slam anniversary. That hometown crowd is going to be fully behind the French-Canadian Frankenstein, and you are going to be able to shut AJ Francis up and get those two yeah. titles. I, I, I know you will. I, I, yeah, yeah, but, Francis, but you know he's a big mouth. He's cocky. Yeah, he's arrogant. Huge, but, but in, in in real life, in real life, I mean, he walks around in the back saying like, "Hey, listen, uh, you know, we, uh, me and PCO, we we're drawing the the biggest crowd ever, you know, in the last ten years." It's like, just shut up! I just you, you don't want to get eat with everybody. What what's what's the matter with you? Just just you know. It's the, the cameras that are on right now, you know. So yeah. he's just he, he's just uh, just full of him of himself, and uh, he takes he takes this thing like very seriously. And uh, I just can't wait to shut him up and just uh, teach him a little lesson about humility. You know? Absolutely, I know you will, and I will be cheering from you from right here in Brampton. I, I hope so. Here. I already got my, so. my slam anniversary package purchased. I am so ready to watch it. The family were ordering pizza, the whole nine yards. But I got to ask you this. Oh. Having the um, history with WWE and now having the partnership with WWE and having some people going over to NXT and the talent being shared and stuff like that, could we possibly see PCO, this version of PCO, back in a WWE ring? I think the day you see that, I think you the roof will go off the building. Yeah. I mean, that would oh. be pretty amazing. That would be crazy. It's a, I, I guess, yeah. I guess I've got a strong feeling it's going to happen. Uh, I don't know why. It's just, just I've always been, like, very super close to to uh, to guessing a little bit. I don't know how things are going to happen. I never know how. Like, when I decided to stay with TNA, like, I was not supposed to stay. And I had a conversation with, with Scott before he got fired. And uh, I don't know, for whatever reason, he convinced me to stay. And he had, like, a plan for Montreal. And then after that, the month that it was supposed to be on didn't happen. And then it came back. And the way it's happening now, it's like, okay, now I know why I've been with TNA for the last three years. And... Uh, now everything was aligned for this. The international heavyweight title on the line too, with the great lineage and uh, the TV media titles and all that uh, on the line. It's 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 so much on the line and and in front of my people. So it's a great opportunity to showcase more layers of the character more more stuff that people haven't seen and just to just uh also more things that we haven't tapped into and i just feel it's uh it's a very there's a lot of potential in that character and we're about to see it this weekend like we've never seen it before Ooh, so, i just got chills i got chills yeah i cannot wait to see super bumped super bumped and actually it's it's happening in just a few days and i'm so focused that i don't even realize i know it's in about three days or something like that i'm so focused about it that i don't really think about it i'm, I'm so focused i don't know it's hard to explain I get it. I get it. You 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 got the focus on making sure that you do everyone in your hometown proud, but also making sure you put on a great show and everything about 
just being in the moment as well. You want to sit there and relish the moment. You can't tell me that when PCO comes out, you're not going to sit there with 4,000 plus French Canadian fans screaming their heads off. You're going to soak it in. You're going to stop for a few seconds. And I think you, I actually think you might break character PCO. I think we might see a little something trickle down your cheek. You know what I mean? I don't know. I've been, I've been pretty good at keeping all my emotions, like, you know, stacked under my throat, basically. They don't come up, you know, because uh, I'm, I'm just, just doing like one task after one task and, and just very often, that one person will do something very special to help me out and do something with me. And then I would start to see the emotion coming up a little bit, and then I could cut it off. So that will be really, really special if we see something like that. I don't know. We'll see. I, I, I know I'm going to take a few seconds to, to really, like, let that moment sink in and really uh, let it like appreciate that moment, you know, and make it like one of the greatest souvenir in my entire career. Because you know, I've done tons of show in Montreal. I've done, I've done championship match with WWE and WWF. And sometimes we didn't have 4,000 people, you know? So this, this is a great one for me. I mean, I've done one where we had 21,000. 18,500 people, something like that. And I, I, I've, I've done sold out crowds before, but I've also done like crowds with major like WWE and where it wasn't that packed. So it's, uh, it's a huge crowd and that's, that's, we'll see how I'm going to be affected by it. Like, you know, affected positively. A hundred percent. 100%. And my, my final question, when you look at your career and you look at everything you've done and everything you've been through and the cities you traveled to, the fans you've met, the people whose lives you've touched, myself included, I was a huge fan of the Quebecers, okay? I was a huge fan of everything that you got, the Mounties, all that stuff. I loved everything you did. I loved everything you did at the Indies. I loved everything you did in ROH and I loved everything that you're doing here in TNA right now. When you hear that from someone who literally, I've grown up with you. I've grown up with you. I've been a fan my entire life. Yeah. To sit down and have two conversations with you in my life, that's incredible. When you hear somebody say that and how that you've touched their life, you've been in their life for so long, does that does that make you want to go another 50 years? Well, I mean, the, the fact that I keep going is just the fact that I want to, you know, reach out to the goals that I set up for myself when I was a kid. And uh, and as long as I can perform to the uh, the level of, what the elite is today, I'm fine with it. You know, I don't, I don't want to hang in there if I cannot bring something special to the table. I feel like I'm bringing, I'm, I'm probably the one of the, you know, most unique character in pro wrestling. And like I said, there's so many layers to it. Like there's so many ways that you can go with it, about it, around it, with it. That I feel like, yeah, it could be a bunch of more years and and why not but uh i mean for me what's important like you said i'm touching you know other people's lives i remember when i grew up watching those those other wrestlers that that touched me and that i made sure and i think that's the first time that it's going to be done in montreal i don't think never everybody like ne never none of us or people that are active right now I've taught to invite I invited every pro wrestler from the past to our show I mean everybody that I know that is still alive uh, I've called them personally and I, I've seen some of them crying because they always left out you know nobody thinks about them but they paved the way for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a big thing for me because like when you say I uh, have an impact on people, those guys, they had an impact on me and I want to show them all my respect. And uh, I took, I'm super busy. And this week is like the final stretch. I don't have like sometimes my phone can ring like five, six different phone calls 
while I'm talking to you, you know, it's, it's, it's been like that, you know, for the last two, three weeks. So, uh, I took the time to call each and every one of them and to invite them. Like the one, the one that I know, like that, that I've always been, you know, that they were, they weren't like super huge draw, but they were there in the middle of the card or opener or something like that. So they invited, I, I wanted to invite them. And uh, I think that's the thing that I'm super proud about. Absolutely. I love that. Absolutely love that. I think that's a great way to end this conversation. PCO, thank you so much. Before you go, can you just look at the camera, give me that French-Canadian en- Frankenstein energy and just say you had a really cool conversation with Straight Talk and people should subscribe because we're awesome. <laughs> yes. This is PCO, that French-Canadian Frankenstein perfect creation one. What a great conversation with Straight Talk. It's a lot. That's I love that. Thank you so much, sir. Peace, love, and wrestling, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you so much for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw today, please feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our future videos and content. Also, you can follow us on all social media platforms, on X at underscore Straight Talk, on Facebook and Instagram at Straight Talk Wrestling, on TikTok at Straight underscore Talk underscore Wrestling. And, of course, you could follow us on Podbean.